What's up, dog? Welcome to Fishing with Jay, the show where sometimes I catch fish and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I catch muskrats. Jig in with Jay and Uncle Si. How are we rolling? We're at Simon Abyss Wayside Park. Day two, day three, part two of our adventure. We're about to pick up the man, the myth, the legend. We're gonna call him Uncle Si of the North. Stan. Stan's what we're gonna call him. Look at this. So he doesn't lose his gloves. Yeah. And if I forget his name, I can just look at his gloves. Yeah. What's your name? I go there. <laughs> <laughs> What's your last name, Stan? Denial. Denial? Yeah. D how do you spell that? G E N. Oh, Denial. Yeah. I thought you said denial, like you didn't want to confess to something. No. <laughs> Stan's yeah. taking us fishing today. Yeah. I met Stan last time that I visited Simon Abyss Wayside Park. And now he offered to take us fishing. So we got a man that grew up in Cormoran, taking us on a Cormoran Lake. In my town. His town. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. How old are you, Stan? 64. 64. My dad's age. You're born in what, 60? 57. 57. Yeah. What year was this road made? 1974, the gravel was pushed through. Do you, do you remember when it was made? Yeah. Was that a pretty big deal for the town? Well, they used to go through here, winter road, eh? Oh yeah. On the back that side there. So do you guide quite a bit in the summer? Oh yeah. Yeah. When you come every, every back to back to back, I, I don't get a day off. <laughs> love this trailer. New trailer. Talked about it last video. Talk about it this video, I love it. Took a little convincing to Sam that I told her needed needed this. I needed this and it's, uh, it's pretty sweet. Especially for gravel roads like this, you don't have to worry about your gear. Fits two sleds. Going fishing. There's a little bay right there. Yeah. And right here. And that's oh. where the that's where the river comes in, that's yeah, and, and the river comes in right there. Yeah. You want me to stay quite away from it because uh bad ice? Turn flows fast out of there. You got a lot of room to fish out here. Yeah. yeah. There's all cabbage weeds in here too. Oh yeah. This whole area goes that way. Yeah, we'll fish right here. Alright. Here this is what we call Wally's Point. Wally's here. Point, yeah. And that's Mackenzie's. And you, to find the spot you said you lined up. You see this right here? Yeah. That, that's pissed off point. That goes to the other river, the yeah. little frog. And then if you look here, you're straight in line with the, the other one. That's Pickerel Creek, you and, said? Uh, yeah. And if you look back, see where this, this uh, dark line comes? Yeah. And it, and it drops. So this is the mark line. So you don't need GPS. You got it all right here. Yeah, it's all right here. I taught these guys all the stuff. <laughs> all right. Let's... Might need to put the extension on. Maybe, yeah. Oh no. Made it. And pike and walleye are all both yeah. fixed in. So yeah. we're about, from the bottom of the ice, like five feet. Well, uh, that's, that's good enough, I guess. We can't get any deeper. Yeah. But those fish are here. Yeah, we might be right on some weeds, actually. Yeah. Does it go deeper that that's way? Just, a little bit deeper this way, but not much. Okay, yeah, that's just uh, like a Look, basin there's hole. a fish, look yeah. at that fish. Yeah, he's coming. There might be another one there, there's two yeah. fish. Oh yeah. Isn't him. that cool? You can see yeah. them just swimming along. So. Right there, that's right under the hole. Yeah. And that's 30 feet. So whichever way this is pointed, that's where the fish are. So right now there's two fish 30 feet over there. Well, we got so we'll 25 go and 25, we'll get them in the middle. You grab a rod. Okay, you we'll, catch them. We'll, we'll put the rods in and you'll drill the hole. <laughs> All right, I think we're doing like a walleye pike combo here. I'm pretty sure those fish we saw in last go for walleyes. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna set an iFish Pro and then I'm gonna jig my other rods. Stan is doing the double dead stick approach, rocking the full size rods. We're using the 10 inch Ion Alpha. This thing is just a beast. It's like 17 pounds for a 10 inch auger. Really should be using the extension, but I did not expect that I need the extension on April 24th. All right, we got a tip up set. This is the nicest 
day I've had all ice fishing season weather-wise. Still too much ice. Hi, Fish Pro. It's like a tip-up, but use your rod. I just, uh, my, the manager called me soon as they come. He said, can you tell which one's Uncle Si? Well, people are looking at it. Holy moly, he said, they, they look just alike, he said. <laughs> That's Uncle Si of the North, they said. <laughs> all right, I'm dropping down. A little medium-sized tantrum. Oh, there's a fish coming in instantly. Do you think this is where a lot of the pike come to spawn in the spring? Oh, they go up that creek there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you speak Cree or what? what's your native tongue? Well, my our language is Cree. Yeah. But I'm working on English right now. <laughs> <laughs> you catching them, Stan? Watch out. I got one. Good. Hey. <laughs> That's a big one. Yep. Well, if those ties are here, then the bigger ones are in here. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Big, big spotting inflow behind us. Yeah. I mean, Stan, Stan spent a lot of time on this water. He grew up in the community not too far from here, like right there. And he has spent a lot of time bouncing around. This is what I'm using. A little shiner pattern tantrum. Might catch a walleye with it, might catch a whitefish with it, might catch a big pike with it. Do you think they'll bite that? I would bite that if I was a fish. <laughs> <laughs> this might be something bigger. Got him. Oh. Lost it. I just lost something big. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, he's back. He's still there. Come on. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. He is bigger than I thought. You try pounding the mud. Oh, he loved that. Oh, this live scope footage is insane. Oh, come on. He loved it when I pounded the mud. Oh, do I got bait here? I wonder if I can quickly drop this quick strike down. So I'm gonna pull this out, I'm gonna drop that other bait down quick. Oh, okay, yeah. That's your bait right there, I wait to There it is. There's my bait coming down. Oh, he's gonna eat it. Look at that, he's facing right at it now. Yeah. You two of them then, or one? No, just one big one. Yeah. He just ate it. Yeah, he's got it. See if he starts moving again. Oh yeah, he's still got it. Yeah. Look, he's just swimming. Yeah. <laughs> well, he isn't moving, but I think we're gonna hit him. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, 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 that's what I was worried about is because I sometimes they just grab it a little bit and oh, then they're yeah. repositioning it in their mouth. Yeah. So I'll go sometimes. That's why I was worried about him just sitting there. It's nice when they're swimming away because then you like are more likely to get hooks into them, but yeah, that was cool. Well, that's just a start. Yep. Now we got lots of time. You know they're here. Did he just bite it again? Yeah, he bit it again. Look yeah. at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, he's fighting. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> he came up backwards. Yeah. We're gonna let him swim down and then he'll come up head yeah. first. There we go. This is the culprit. Hey, hey, hey. There we go, here. we're on the board. Hey. Yeah. Put some more holes in for you then. They're on here. Do you want to keep any pikes down? Yeah, we'll put them back? Yeah. All right, we'll put them back. All right, this we're is the bigger, guy. better size ones. Then. This is the culprit. Yeah. yeah. Cool. That was very, very cool live scope footage. In that shallow water, you can see every fin in so much detail, and yeah, we lost that fish twice. He broke the ice now. Yep. <laughs> Do you want me to drill a hole for you? Uh, maybe go from this one for 25, 30 feet. Okay. That's if you want to go in reverse. Okay. So that's forward. You can just keep it in forward. Okay, yeah. So you grab it there. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Have you used an electric auger before? Uh, no, my, my boss has one. <laughs> okay. Then. <laughs> right to the bottom. Yeah, that one worked good. All right, well, we caught our first fish in the shallowest hole we were fishing. So then we're just kind of moving all of our lines. We're just trying to figure out what that magic depth is. It is pretty gradual here, but as mentioned, there's that inflow behind us, which is such a good draw for uh, fish at this time of year. So anyways, that looks pretty good. Oh, 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 flag, 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 flag. flag. We got a flag. <laughs> this is yours, you're taking this one. One second, let's grab pliers. You're reeling this one in, Stan. Yeah, he's having a look over there. I was thinking about that to go up. <laughs> <laughs> this is yours, Stan. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, he's still on The bill is closed. Stan, uh, it's you. Okay, I'll pull him up then. <laughs> 
Okay, let me just check the drag. All, all right, you're good. All good, good. Keep reeling. Oh. He let go. He was there. Yeah, I see him move. Yeah, you didn't, you never really had him on, I don't think. No, he just tried to swim away with it, I guess, and then yeah. the tension, he let it go. It's a good sign? Yeah, it's a good sign. This guy might come back. I got a good feeling about this one. Oh yeah, he'll come back. Might have been just a young, a smaller one too when yeah. he hit it, and he, but the bigger ones are gonna come. 60 inches we can measure, 60. Yeah. I'm just picturing you and me holding a pike <laughs> oh, this yeah. long. And I hope so too. All right, well, this one's probably gonna pop while we're walking back is my yeah. prediction. He went around my other line and we both had him on the thing. Do this! Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how fishy it is. Oh. <laughs> you gotta keep the excitement going. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of what I do, it's obviously visiting different you know, accommodations, but just the people you meet along the way, like Stan, such a character, so awesome. <laughs> I was just pumped that he wanted to fish with us today. Come on, boys, you want to be on film, camera? <laughs> Get up here. You don't want to act like little nerdy. We know you are, but you don't have to act like one. They're probably just looking at the hooks down there and they're not trying to take them. You make the call, fish. If you want to eat, you eat. If you want to starve, starve. You're not fishing down there. You have your chances. You're, you're wasting it. We're not going to wait for you to make up your mind. We could fish for a little while here and go to the bridge and try there too. I'd be game to try that just yeah. for, yeah. We don't want to take the machines out. We no, just we'll just walk, out with, the, yeah, walk just, out with the bucket. We'll give it a little while longer. If they don't want to cooperate here, then we'll fine. Okay. Yeah. It's all about these greedy, greedy people that don't care about nothing. They keep all the fish. Yeah. Kill and the moves or whatever. They just kill everything and then, and then they ask for, where's everything? Yeah. You know. Oh. Well, I always, like I always said, did you leave anything over there? Yeah. No. No, that's a good, yeah. it's a good motto. Yeah. If you didn't leave nothing, then well then there's not, that's why there's nothing there. Yeah. yeah. Where James and I were brought, brought up was, if you're going to eat it, then kill it. Yeah. If you have no food in your freezer, then go out and get one. But yeah. Don't go kill five, six, seven, just for the sport of it. You know, like, then it goes lot, bad. Yeah, a lot of people just do that just for, why, you know? Like I told him, one person can't eat a whole moose if you tried in three, <laughs> yeah. four days, you know. Not even in six months. Maybe they're all under the bridge waiting for us. Maybe. Well, we'll find out. Should I go swim across the open water? Yeah. Take your go GoPro. Hey, <laughs> yeah, they're over there. <laughs> you, just, you see it out of space already. Don't take long, oh, man. I got one. Oh, hey. Oh, be careful. Little pike. Oh, there's a picture. hook in the arm. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we were waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just eating some M&Ms. We are moving. We will move to the bridge. To Stan's secret spot. Yeah. Trying to keep it secret. <laughs> <laughs> you know this is going on the internet, right, Stan? Hey. You know this is going on the internet. Yeah. Right? Where you saw him. <laughs> That's winter fishing. <laughs> try here, try there. The only way to cut find fish. All right, our evening spot we've arrived at. Thanks to Stan the man. Let's see what we got for depth and we'll pop some more holes. <laughs> Fish? It's a fish. Wow, that was weird. I just dropped it to the bottom and lifted it up. It feels like a little pike. If it was a walleye, it'd be a decent walleye, but I'm thinking it's gonna be a 21 inch northern pike. Yeah, we're just popping some holes, looking around to see where the depth dropped off a little bit, and we're shallow here. We're in like three, four feet of water. Hey, what do you get? I don't know, I think a little pike. I guess we'll never know. Oh, that sucked. Just dropped her down and had him right away. 
Yeah, it just hit the bottom. I lifted it and I thought I was snagged. Oh yeah. I think, it was, a, I think it was a little pike. Probably just waiting for it to yeah. hit. Good sign though. Yeah. Yeah, I thought shallow. I would assume they just slide up here from the, yeah, from the no. deeper stuff. And They'll start coming up here to feed now. Is this probably the most popular? Most oh, from here? Yeah. This is mostly the best because it's all shallow goes in that way. Yeah, big mud bay. Yeah, that's the mud bank all the way around in the back there. It's nice to see so many people out fishing. Yeah. They're being in the house. Yeah. Walleyes will push so shallow in the evening and early morning sometimes. Like we're in four feet of water under the ice. It's pretty crazy. It's fun. That's when there's some of the most aggressive walleyes. It's like 647. Sunset is, I think, 847, somewhere in there. So in the next hour, we should see things start to light up. I mean, we saw a couple pike already, so that's a good sign. No, no, come in and start hitting for this one. The sun is still high yet. Stan's feeling confident. I've heard James has a special meal plan for us. He's the owner of Simon Abyss. James Abyss is his name. Simon Abyss is his grandpa. He told me the whole story about how they got that property and how it used to be a park and then the park got shut down and they were able to buy that property. And now it's the only place you can stay on Cormorant. If you want to fish Cormorant Lake, Simon Abyss Wayside Park, they got cabins, they have a campground. I'm not sure if all the spots are full in the campground, but you'll meet James, you'll meet Stan. You can hire Stan as a guide. Yeah. Are you the head guide? Right now I am. Yeah. <laughs> I, boys gotta listen to what I tell them. <laughs> I say 4.30 boys, time to start it up, let's hole. We're going home. <laughs> do you do short lunch? Do you cook short yeah. lunch out on the lake? Oh yeah, we have short lunches all the time. You got any secret recipes you want to share? Not really, it's most the same thing. There's <laughs> cracker crumbs and seasoning salt, pepper. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> What's your name? Cool. Jessica. Jessica, nice to meet you. Are you from the pot? Cormorant. Cormorant, nice. How's it going? I heard about you, but I don't know you. What's your name? John. John, nice to meet you. I'm nice Jay. You. What's your name, buddy? Jesse? Jesse Payton. Nice. Uh, <laughs> nice meeting you guys. You didn't know we were making a movie? <laughs> yeah. If we catch some fish. Yeah. Stan, we need to catch some fish. Yeah. Oh, nice meeting you guys. Sometimes they just come up and lick the minnow. <laughs> Thank you, you too. Yeah. Holler if you catch a big one. I get two responses filming in people's backyards. The more common one, people are pumped and they come and say hi. The second one, people don't want me filming in their backyard because they want me to showcase the fishing in their backyard. Like this is great. There's groups over there, groups behind us. There's probably like 50 people out on the ice around us here. Like it's pretty sweet. Seeing the whole community out, nice weather. I approve, I approve of Cormorant. The thing that makes me sad sometimes is when I get messages after the fact and someone's like, yeah, I saw you on the lake or I saw you at the boat launch and I was, you know, scared to say hi. I'm not a scary guy, I promise you. Come say hi, I'd like to meet you. Shake your hand, take a picture, and swap fishing spots, recipes. What's up? Good, how are you? Are you guys catching more than we are? How's it going? I'm Jay. Hey, Matthew. Nice to meet you, Matthew. There you go, got the town in the background. All right, buddy. Hey, good meeting you. Thanks for saying hi. Good luck, guys. See ya, thanks. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. Oh, man, that was a nice pike. He's still there. They look just insane on the live scope in the shallow water. Oh, look at these wolves. We have two wolves coming. Come here. Are those wolves? No. That's a uh, husky. That one there. Look how beautiful this dog is. Come here. Come here. That is the prettiest dog. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you're the prettiest dog. This is my new pet. Watch my rod, you little, hey, don't you pay, no, get, get out of there. <laughs> don't, don't you pee on my rod, boy. <laughs> you little. <laughs> that was probably the highlight of my day, Stan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get the shot, but the dog just peed on Stan's rod. Uh, Couldn't find a tree. <laughs> <laughs> thought it was a tree. Hey, I'm Jay. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Even my grand. Hey, Jay. Nice him. to meet you. So so bother no, no, not bothering at all. No, no, no. There's. We still got like half an hour till prime time. Jay, Man, nice, nice meeting you. Thanks for saying hi. Yeah. Thanks for watching the videos. You too. Oh, here's here's fish. Is something big? No. Got him. It's got to be a pike. Oh. He is squirrely. Oh, yeah, he's a wiry <laughs> one. <laughs> Can you talk to him, Stan? Settle down, boy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's been running around below there. Yeah. That fish looks so big on the live scope. Oh, Cormorant in the background, pike in the foreground. Been meeting 
a bunch of the locals. I love it. I think it's crazy. It's humbling that people are watching my videos and kind of all over the place. In Corbin, Manitoba. Do you want to come fish beside me? Yeah. yeah, let's do it. I'll try to pop a second hole here. All right, that's your hole. What's your name again? Derek. Derek, how old are you? 14. Got a walleye. Look at this guy. <laughs> We're gonna fish his hole pretty soon. Oh, here's a fish. Here's a fish. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on. That's gotta be a pike. He is so squirrely. <laughs> it's gotta be a pike. It's these little pike that make me nervous. It's not the big ones. It's ones that size. There you go. That was exciting. He didn't bite his heart. Oh, oh, he's on. Oh, oh, here he is. Walleye. Come on. Uh, ha ha. <laughs> uh, Dad ignored it. I think I thought. I could feel him biting at it now. But I couldn't catch him right away. Oh, let's put him in a sponge hole. <laughs> You're fun to <of> fish. <laughs> there you go, Stan. Yeah. You didn't get shut out today. Wow, that's a big pike. Hold it up to the camera. That's Chloe's fish. Mm. Yeah. Congrats, Chloe. Oh, you got him, you got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh, he got away oh, on him. Oh, man. Put him back down, put him back down. <laughs> wow, I just saw the fish streaking there. Yeah. All of a sudden, I just saw, woo. Oh, man, I wish you would've caught that fish. That was yeah. exciting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hey! Hey, hey, Rattler did it again. <laughs> we need to hold this fish up for the camera, yeah. Stan, because this is what you worked for, we worked for all day. Yeah. Stan, he's your fish, you got to hold him. You're the star. Oh, I'll hold, we got one walleye. <laughs> we did it. Hey. We worked all yeah. day. You know, oh God, how's the little guy? You want a walleye? I'll go here, baby, you want to walk. <laughs> right. Stan did it. Hand jigging with the rattle bait. So good. We ended with some pike, a walleye. We're probably gonna fish for a couple more minutes. And then we're gonna head back to Simon Abyss Wayside Park. And we got a pretty special meal happening. But we met a lot of new people today. Stan is just a certified beauty. I definitely want to fish with him again. And uh, this will not be my last time to Cormorant. Very, very welcoming community. Next shot will be me stuffing my face with bannock. Nom, 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 nom. Bannock time. What's on the menu tonight? Beef stew. Beef stew? Yeah. This mm -hmm. is what the doctor ordered in Bannock. Yeah. Puppy on the bottom. <laughs> we got Bannock. Did you make this yourself? Oh, I made it. Nice. I'm so happy. I've been so hungry all day. We ate a little bit, but we were just so focused on fishing. I need to learn how to make bannock. <laughs> oh, there he is. I heard that. <laughs> Stan, how's the soup? <laughs> Best in the world, Sean. Wow, you're so orange, Caitlin. I'm windburned. I'm tired. But I'm so full of bannock and stew. Simon Abyss Wayside Park. Today, fishing didn't pan out. That's fishing. Sometimes you can't catch an otter and a big pike and see caribou every day. But uh, you have the chance here every day and uh, just sweet meeting all the people in Cormorant, all you guys that came and said hi, amazing. Thank you so much for watching the videos. I am humbled by stuff like that. And uh, until the next video, I hope you guys are safe. We're gonna keep ice fishing.